evening. Today I have been brought here to bring you on the journey of the Egyptian demon days. It's not that scary now. Or is it? Okay, when the sun was shining as beautifully as ever, two fell in love. Not to get us to the sky and get God of Earth. It was a beautiful romance, even though they have siblings. I know, weird, isn't it? They started catching up and hanging out more often. Suddenly, they were deep in love. Later on, Nut announced to her love that she was pregnant with five gods. They were as happy as could be until the king of all gods Ra heard about this. He rushed over immediately and cursed him to never give birth on any day of the year because he heard a prophecy that one day, one of Gebenar's children would overthrow him. Okay, winding it back. I know, dumb, isn't it? Telling a pregnant lady she can't ever give birth? Ugh, dude, Ra, you need some serious help. Nut was scared. She couldn't give birth. And it was way too painful to hold five babies in her stomach. She could not do it forever. So immediately, she rushed over to the god of knowledge, Thoth, and seeked for help and answers. He listened and came up with a solution. He sent a message to Konsu if he wanted to gamble. Well, eventually he came. Konsu could never deny an amazing opportunity to gamble. His bet was his moonlight, as asked, and Thoth was a great amount of money. It was an intense game between them both. It was a close score. It was intense. They were both smart. But it came out to a win-lose situation, as all games do. And Thoth won. He won just enough light to make an extra five days. Thoth was overjoyed for the win, and Konsu was heartbroken by his loss. His light around him just went dimmer. Konsu left in a hurry to cry his tears, while Thoth immediately went over to Nut to show his prize. Nut was amazed with his win. Right there, Thoth started making the days on the spot using ancient magic and potions to make new days. She ran off thanking him. She went into the sky and now there were new days, so each day Nut gave birth to a different child. First was Osiris. Second was ours. Third was Set. Fourth was Iris. And lucky last was Nepithus. Ra was outraged by the betrayal. He rushed over and cursed Geb to the ground forever and Nut to the sky, with their father Shu, the wind god, forever separating them. Now that is the history of the Egyptian demon days. The end. I shall be off now. There's awful Egyptians. Hopefully you meet them one day. But goodbye.